so today welcome to my channel and i am going to discuss with you another problem of c++ you can see the problem c++ program to find the sum of digits of a number until the sum is reduced to one digit here we can see that for example it is given for 5 3 8 7 6 9 if you sum the digits that is 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 8 16 plus 7 23 29 38 we get 38 then if we add the digits here 33 plus 8 11 again 11 1 plus 1 2 then we come to a single digit so user will enter a number sum the digits and it will reduce until one digit it is until one digit for this sum we need to approach only a simple way that first we need to find the sum of a digit then we can see here c++ program to find the sum of a digits of a number how we approach suppose user gives n is equal to 123 is a number so if you find the sum then it will be the sum is 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 3 6 and so it will be 6 this is or no okay now kya karenge dekho pehle isko sum kaise nikalenge iska e digit ka first i will take this digit and find its remainder suppose 123 percentage 10 and it's remainder i am dividing them again by you see first here suppose 123 by 10 1 10 i get 23 2 23 is there I get the last digit you can see here 3 similarly if I divide 123 by 10 I will get the remaining two digits that is 12 the 3 will be excluded you can see that here you can see okay you can see here it is 12 if I divide I will get the last uh, digit which digit hoga or three remainder pe last digit okay now if i do this step repeatedly before the number is less than zero that means n should be greater than zero if the number is less than zero if it is less than zero then it will terminate so number should be always greater than zero so i will do this up till c I will take this value in a digit D suppose D means the digit then I, what I will do I will sum it sum of the digit the sum is equal to sum plus digit first I will initialize sum to 0 and digit okay the sum is 0 plus digit is 3 so I get 3 and s is 3 so s 0 to it becomes 3 okay uh, I do it freshly you see okay 123 how I do I have n that is integer that is n s uh, d and s Okay. First, we see that is n is one twenty three. Then I divide it and first take the digit by taking the remainder. How I find this first step right here it is one twenty three percentage. Uh, sorry, modulus. 10 I get the digit as 3 so here it is 3 
after that I get the sum first it is initialized to 0 okay then I take the sum it is sum what is it sum is equal to sum plus when I do it I get the value as 3 so sum becomes 3 okay after that what I do is the digit is now 123 next I did give that n by n is equal to n by 10 then I get what 12 so it becomes now 12 okay similar second step okay second step same way I do 12 percent uh, modulus 10 I get 2 sum is equal to sum plus digit okay. well, 2 is the digit d is equal to okay sum sum is now 3 so 3 plus 2 that is 5 sum becomes 5 okay next n is equal to n by 10 that is n is 12 by 10 that is i get it is 1 1 now third step 1 digit is equal to again 1 percent 10 that is 1 then sum sum plus digit sum is 5 digit is 1 this I get 6 so digit is 1 I get the sum of 6 then again n n by 10 it will come 0 next we have the condition n should be greater than 0 then it is terminate so I will make a loop for that loop for that okay so I will take three values. The three values will be changing immediately after one one. Okay. After that, okay, we will take given the condition and do it. Now I will go to the visual code and show you how to do this problem. In the approach, now we will do it in the Visual Studio code. I here first I take an input n that I will take input from the user. See how to enter any number. After that, C in operator in. I will start a while loop that will uh, execute when it is n greater than zero. After that, I will do first n. I have taken. Similarly, I have to take D S two variables. So I have to D S S first. I have to initialize to zero because first the sum is zero. Then what I will do? Same thing. D is equal to n percentage 10 so first step is this first we have to find what d n per, uh, n modulus 10 that is the last digit of the number the last digit we need to find the last digit of the number so for last digit i what does d is equal to n percentage 10 after that s is equal to s plus digit means the sum is equal to sum plus digit s plus digit this i have written this means what s is equal to s plus digit okay this is i've written in some form so s plus digit this means okay i need to comment out this I have written so forth then what I've done next that is I have this I have got the sum after that n is equal to n by 10 I get the remaining digits remaining okay this is the remaining digit so n is equal to n by 10 n by 10 then I return the sum print out the sum Sorry. Okay. So sum not is. This will give the sum. So I have taken n d s first. 
highlight the here I can write first is the last digit and then I have done this here is the sum of digit I have done here after that I have done the record the remaining digits so iterate until n is greater than 0 if it is less then I order the sum sum run the code I will written sum does not name a type sum I find here the entire any number suppose 123 I will get 6 I enter 2 3 4 5 6 7 what I get 27 2 plus 3 5 plus 4 9 plus 5 14 20 27 so this is the approach next what i will do is that the last sum that i have done okay then is the last sum find the sum of the digits of a number until the sum is reduced to one digit same approach but i will approach it how i will i have got the sum i have got the sum okay then i will take this sum in n that means i have got 123 suppose i have got the sum as 6 i will store this 6 in n okay suppose this number 5 3 8 7 6 9 i get the sum as you can see a 38 sum is 38 so I will what I will do is that I will store this sum in n n is equal to 30 then again n becomes 38 then this 38 again will do the sum and give us sum is equal to 3 plus 8 11 then again I will take this s in n so n is equal to 11 so again that will do the sum and give us s is equal to 2 again I will take n is equal to 2 but here it is stored that reduced to one digit so n must be greater than one digit that is n greater than equal to n so it is not greater than it will terminate here so same thing i do here i find that sum the digit and store it in n again n will go to that loop and start okay you can see the approach here same thing i will do here I will first initialize a do while loop and in that cut it paste it okay then I will tell a while how much in should be greater than nine stop it some after taking the sum I will what do in is equal to s so what we do here you can see sum sum becomes n n is greater than 9 yes it is greater than 9 again goes to the loop n becomes find the sum again sum comes sum becomes n n is greater than 9 yes again goes again find the sum sum is again become n n is greater than no then it's terminate so take an end l here so that it is visible more so enter a number the number that is given to us that is five three eight seven six nine five three eight seven six nine i find any problem is this sorry i need problem let me see where is the problem okay here i need to initialize that s is equal to zero inside the loop s is equal to 0 I do so I need to initialize s is equal to 0 then I will run it save it and run it save it and run it 
then five three eight seven six nine thirty eight eleven two I find the same thing given over here so you understand what you have to do the main thing is that you need to initialize it here or else it will become a garbage value okay and it, the loop will iterate to become an infinite loop so you need to see here the main thing that I told so thing that you have understood same thing I will take a do while loop and in that I will create the while loop and s n is equal to s the number becomes the sum and then it will again iterate okay thank you I will post another problem and if you have any doubt then comment me in the comment section I will reply it as soon as possible. Thank you.